Hi guys, um, so today's vlog I decided to do um, about inner beauty. Now, um, we all need to sort of learn what inner beauty kind of is, I suppose. And normally I wouldn't do one of these vlogs without having a face for makeup and whatever. But I wanted you to see me, flaws and all. I'm not perfect. No one is. But I don't go around pretending to be the most attractive person in the planet, but I have learned to accept who I am. I mean, that's really the biggest problem any of us have. And the biggest problem I had growing up was that I was considered the fat kid at school. Now, <laughs> this is the funny thing. I wasn't even fat. Yes, I'll be the first to admit I'm overweight now, and I would like to lose a few pounds, but that's more for health problem, well, health issues than it is being insecure about what my body looks like. Um, I mean, seriously, I have to. I, I really do. But, there you go. But where does this all come from? That's what I'd like to know. It seems like every day you open the papers and the magazines and you're presented with this image of what society thinks is perfection. I mean, it's kind of like what society expects us to be. Uh, it's people who are skinny, men who are like really ripped torsos, and you know, women with massive boobs and perfect legs and teeth and da 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 da. I mean, the reality is very different. I mean, we all come in different shapes and sizes and colours and whatever. Also, I don't really know about you, but I don't have thousands of pounds to spend on surgery and personal trainers to make myself look perfect. So I've learnt to accept the fact that basically I'm quite big, a big bill, and I've learnt to love myself. But, um... Basically, that's where my confidence kind of comes from, I guess. You know, people often ask me one thing online, and that's, how do I have the guts to go up to these guys in these bands and just talk to them? I mean, they tell me they can't because they're ugly, or stupid, or uninteresting, unattractive, and they're not, I mean, really, look at me. I, I'm nothing special. I do it because... Well, one, they're normal human beings and they want the attention anyway, otherwise they wouldn't be in the bands in the first place now, would they? And two, <sighs> I've learned that for anyone else to love you, you have to learn to love yourself. I mean, you, you can't expect anybody else to do that, and that's where your confidence comes from, and that's what people gravitate towards. So that's why I don't mind talking to them, that's what they like, and you need to learn to accept who you are, and basically learn to love yourself. That's the most important thing. Okay, so yes, I wear makeup a lot of the time, as, I've, as I'm sure you know from my previous vlogs. But does that add to attractiveness? Does it take away from attractiveness? I'm going to put some on, and I want you to tell me in the comments or whatever if you think I look better with or without makeup. And I'm not going to take offence either way, to be perfectly honest with you. It's just I'm, I'm kind of interested to gauge your opinions. So, I will be right back. So here is me in makeup. Um, does it make you more or less attractive? I mean, most of the time, I'd be honest, I don't actually wear it. I do, however, go to gigs like this. Yeah, that's pretty scary, huh? I mean, I do it for the same reasons that, like, Phyllis Van Pike or Dead They Waiting do it. It's for impact. It's to make an impression. It's part of my costume or my persona when I go out. It... <sighs> It's not always who I am, but as you know, they don't always wear makeup either, do they? You don't see them all the time wearing makeup, and they're still attractive, aren't they? So, that's because, like me, they have sort of inner beauty and confidence, and they've spent years and years being bullied for different, for being different, and they've learned to accept who they are. So, so did I, basically. And uh, yeah, I guess the point is. I guess the point I'm trying to make is that we're all beautiful. This makeup it, it's a way of gaining more attention. I mean, some people say that they use it as a kind of mask to hide away, but I know that it makes an impact, so I wear it to get even more attention than I already have got. So what you need to do 
is get out there, learn to love your flaws, and realise that they make you the wonderful person that you are. Because it's true. You are wonderful.